Back with us here on Power Breakfast, Manisha Gupta now joins in with all the updates on the commodity space. Manisha, good morning. What are you tracking this morning? Well, uh, I'm looking at the crude oil prices, which are now headed for a second monthly decline. The ongoing China demand concerns, support from supply, uh, you know, supply disruptions in Libya at near 1 million barrels per day. Iraq is also looking to cut output. So those are a couple of factors that the markets will be looking at. In the meanwhile, the street was also watch out for the first week of September when the OPEC will talk about phasing, gradually phasing output cuts of about 2.2 million barrels per day from the month of October itself. Well, the only thing that really seems to be shining bright is the gold prices, trading very near to its all-time highs of $25, $30 an ounce. Remember, it is also the U.S. inflation data today, and much cues would come in from that. Within the metal sector, well, uh, uh, copper prices uh, seem to be declining today. Coal is today trading at a four-week low. Copper prices fell 2% overnight. Steel fell 2% overnight as well. Aluminum, zinc also have started the Asian markets in the negative right now. So uh, energy and industrial metals on the weaker side, gold is the only one that really seems to be doing well today. And apart from everything else, it's sugar because of the government notifications yesterday. International sugar prices have been surging. The Indian sugar price is also expected to open firm today. Keep an eye out on sugar stocks. Manisha, thanks a lot for that. And that's all.